specifically. I like to do it with just a metronome, no play along record or not even playing along um, with a recording of somebody else. Just pick a, a standard you want to learn. Um, in this case I'll, I'm going to use the, the song Out of Nowhere as an example. And I like to um, keep it in the medium slow to slow range and really focus on getting in sync with the time. Um, so I'll set the metronome to, to 80 beats per minute and use that as two and four. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then I'll just play along, play the melody of the tune through with that, and then start focusing on just the root progression of the song, literally just playing what the, you know, the main roots that the bass player would play. So, for example. <laughs> try to get in tune with it think of the metronome like a drummer or like you're playing in a big band just something really swinging and when that's done then I'll just go around and do a couple courses just the roots using a little bit of rhythm so I'll just do a chorus to demonstrate one two one two three <laughs> just going through and playing whole notes or half notes or whatever I think the important part is to get you know some rhythmic um, juice in there and make it make it feel good and that gets you comfortable with the metronome and then the next step is to just start adding the the rest of the notes in the chord so I won't I won't go through it all but you know you can start by building up just the triad and then maybe the seventh chord and then on into the ninths and elevenths and you know work your way through all these chords but by just limiting your choices um, you kind of give yourself some boundaries to play within. So here I'll just kind of keep it to triads and seventh chords. One, two, three, four. <laughs> simple it's a great way to start 
getting comfortable uh, with the standard and make sure you know, you really know all the changes of the song and are really feeling it in good time. And, you know, that's the most important thing more than, for me, what, what scales go over what um, chords and all that stuff, you know, having a really great time feel. You can almost play anything. I mean, for example, I'll, I'll put the metronome on one last time and I'll, I'll try to almost abandon the harmony but keep the melody in the back of my mind and play a more a little bit more random series of notes but staying in, in time with the metronome. One, two, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> So my main focus there is like not even so much the notes that I'm playing, but just keeping in time with the metronome. And by working your way up this this way, you know, through the melody and then the roots and then the roots and the thirds and the fifths, you can really kind of dig into the meat of a tune and and not be beholden to a play along record or relying just on a, a band. And um, I, I find it's really a fantastic way to to get to know a tune much better.